Hi everyone, it's Julia from Toman. We're here at NAM 2020. I'm here at Fender and Alan is right next to me. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Thank you very much. Great. We have some beautiful bases over here. Can you tell me a little bit about this wonderful thing you have in your hand? What we're standing in front of is the new American Ultra Series instruments. There's guitars and basses. I'm actually holding a four-string American Ultra Jazz bass. These are built for performance and tone. So some of the great features of this instrument would be um, a completely redesigned neck, so it's got a beautiful modern D shape. Um, it's very slim and fast in your hand because we have this new ultra satin finish that is like skating on ice. So that's an amazingly important part of this. All these instruments are compound radius, so they're effortless to play up the fretboard. Um, the basses, like the P basses, have really nicely rolled edges. The jazz basses actually have binding, so the edges aren't rolled quite as much as on the P basses. Um, but all the jazz basses feature this beautiful binding and blocks, which is a really nice high-end appointment. All the Ultra Series basses have our best um, tuners that we have with tapered shafts. Um, the other amazing feature of this series is the ultra noises pickups. So every Ultra Series bass or guitar has ultra noises vintage pickups, um, with the exception of the Strat HSS, which has ultra noises hot. electronic like over here can you just explain this a little bit absolutely this is um a built-in 18 volt preamp okay so there's two batteries in the back that have really um, easy access yeah, battery good. compartments. Does um, it have like active passive switch? Yes, this little switch right here allows you to go into active or passive mode on right. the fly while you're playing. The controls here are a volume and a pan pot, so you can blend the pickups in. And then the active EQ is actually a three band EQ. So you have treble and bass boost and cut here, and then mid boost and bass cut here, and then a passive tone control for when you're in passive mode. We've made active preamps before, but we updated this preamp so there's higher highs uh, and, and bolder lows and it's just a very clean versatile preamp that gives you an amazing versatility for your tone. The other thing about all the Ultra Series basses and guitars is that we have these amazing sculpted contours on the back, okay? Um, we have a heel that is almost disappearing into the body, and we've shaved a lot of the mass away from the heel there, and there's this beautiful contour here. So when you're playing it against your body, it's very comfortable when you're playing in the upper registers. Yeah. But they have all these new colors too. This is Cobra Blue. Yeah. Um, we have all these other beautiful colors. This is the best of what we do on the regular production line at Fender. All the upscale appointments, um, locking strap locks. Yeah. It's got a beautiful high mass top loader bridge, so you get sustain and resonance. Yeah. Um, so every little thing about the guitar is highly crafted and designed, just to give you the best playing, best sounding bass possible. Yeah, so this is a signature model for Tony Franklin, probably one of the best known fretless yeah. players in rock. Exactly. Um, and we've been doing signature models for him for several years in other colors, but He's been playing a Lake Placid Blue model live for a long time, and we've heard a lot of people that really wanted to get that version of it, so yeah, yeah. here it is. It's an ebony fretboard, okay. uh, one-piece ebony on a maple neck. You've got oh, the mark. you've got a switch. Yeah, we have a D tuner here, so you can adjust the tuning on the low E between E and D wow. uh, at the flick of a switch. we've got Tony's signature on the plate here uh, and it's loaded with a pair of DiMarzio PJ pickups with a three-way switch 
uh, which is a little unusual for a P-Base, but is, yeah. just allows you to get whichever position you want yeah, right yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then you have tone and volume. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow, really beautiful looking bass. The action seems to be not very high, so really comfortable to play. Yeah. And you've got little dots at the side that for some people that you can just figure yeah. out where you are. And is it available from now on or? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, so this is the new American Ultra Series Precision Bass. This is actually Mocha Burst. We spent a lot of time at the paint company yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. make these bases look as beautiful it as they play. It looks really crazy. Really. This is like a take what on. What colors a, do you have uh, beneath that? Th this is actually um, polyurethane finish, and we're using what we call um, Mystic kind of. Uh, finishes so they have all this miniature sparkle in there. Okay, okay. So this is kind of a take, a modern take on a vintage two-tone burst but done very modern style. Yeah, nice. Um, it's uh, kind of like a root beer into a gold here for the mocha burst. Really, really beautiful. <laughs> So all these bases actually feature your choice of maple or rosewood fretboards, but they are color dependent. Uh, so depending on the color, you will only have one, you know, one choice of maple or yeah, rosewood. Yeah, yeah. It comes it. like that on the color. So again, this is a beautiful ash, aged natural. And again, we're going for upscale, high-end kind of look and feel. So this is a highly tinted piece of natural ash that just looks more like a furniture quality level finish. This denotes the Ultra Series. This is gold kind of metallic logo. That's how you know it's an ultra series. If you want to see more information or more videos from the NAMM show, go to ToeNAMM20, hashtag ToeNAMM20 on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. You can find us, so I hope to see you soon. Bye.